So far, we've looked at the transition probabilities of going from one state to another state. For example, P11 tells you the probability of going from state 1 to state 1 at a particular point in time. But let's say we want to look at the transition probability to go from state i to state j, not in one step, but in after m steps. So the Markov process has gone through uh, a certain number of steps, and we want to know what the probability is. To give a simple example, let's look at state 3. And with 0.25, probability is going to go to state 2. But then from state 2 with probability 1, it's going to go to state 1. So that means that the one uh, step probability, P32, is basically 0 0.25. But then to go from P31, which is going to from 3 to 1 in uh, two steps, which is over here, is going to be 0.25 again because that probability is 1. But can we get to 2, can we get to 1 in a different way? Uh, it doesn't look obvious, but in fact you can. You can stay in 3 for one step and then go to 1 instead of going from 2 to 1. And that's another way of getting to 1. And so in general, it's possible to go from state i to state j in m steps in very many different ways, and it looks quite challenging for us to be able to figure out how to get from one to the other. But it turns out that there's a fairly straightforward way of doing this. And here's the way to think about it. Consider the probability of going from Pij to M like a, like a following path. So we're starting at state I, and here's state J, and we have to get from I to J. But instead, what we can think of is like this. We can have a bunch of intermediate states, all the possible other intermediate states that are over there. And if we're going to go from i to j in m steps, that means you have to go from here to here in m minus 1 steps, and then here from here in 1 step. So the probability of these two are independent. So we can write down the uh, transition probabilities as being the following. So p i j in m steps is equal to, uh, con sorry p i j to m steps is given by the probability that the state at n plus m so let's say uh, it's at it's state n right now it's n plus m is equal to j conditional on x n that's the current state now equals i is given by the sum of probabilities over all possible values of k, which are the different states of going from i to j in m minus 1, sorry, i to k in m minus 1, and then pkj. So what we're saying is here are all the different values of k, and we want to go from i to k in m minus 1 steps, and then we'll go from k to j in 1 step. And this is one way of thinking about it. Alter alternatively, we can go from i to one of the different k states in one step, and then the remainder can be done in m minus 1 steps. And therefore, we can also write this down as sum over k, p i k, and p k j m minus 1. So these are both ways of doing about it. As you can see, it's a recursive relationship that basically writes Pijm in terms of Pik m minus 1. So it makes life somewhat easier. And these two sets of equations, which are equivalent, are called the Chapman-Kolmogorov equations.